Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.ca, and in this video, I'll be showing you an iOS 8 hands on and review and showing you the features that it has to offer. Uh, so, in this video, I'll just be showing you basically all the features that are in iOS 8 and all the main uh, new features that are in it. Uh, so, the first one uh, is that Siri has changed a little bit. It's gotten smarter uh, and it's gotten faster as well. Basically, what you can do is play Shazam, is you could play a song and through Shazam uh, it will find out what's playing right now. Uh, so if I play a song and I hold down the home button and as you can see I have found out which song it was, uh, and it shows the artist right there, and it says Akon performing I'm So Paid featuring Young Jeezy and Lil Wayne, and I could easily buy it, uh, and you can see Shazam uh, is right there with that little uh, logo, uh, but it works really well. And now also with Siri, what you can do to activate it is just say, hey Siri, uh, and it will just launch just like so. Uh, so that's also really cool to see. And also they've added 25 new languages uh, to Siri that it now supports, which is good because Siri is now expanding. Now a new feature in messaging is that you have this feature from WhatsApp which is going to cause some controversy. Uh, so basically you have this uh, voice message button right here. So what you can do is just hold it. And you can see uh, the time right there and it's going. Hey, how is it going? And I can let go. And to send it, all I have to do is press up. And as you can see, and you can see uh, the time right there and it's going. Hey, how is it going? And it sounds uh, uh, pretty decent uh, and it's very interesting in that way. So another new feature is very similar to Android in which you have the predictive text. Uh, so if I start typing, uh, it tries to fill in the word. So the uh, only uh, and then I could start typing and then I see thing. Uh, and then I could start typing again and say is uh, and then I could start typing and that you can see the predictive uh, text right there so I could just easily send something right there it makes typing easier instead of uh, just typing the full word out and not having an auto correct or auto predict even though it was already there it just makes it more convenient that it's the t at the top of the keyboard now now, a new app is the heavily rumored Health Book app uh, that Apple was rumored to put in iOS 8, and it is now in iOS 8. Uh, so you can see you have the Health app right there, and you can go into it, you can see the sources. Uh, so this basically combines and conglomerates uh, all your health apps all together, and it will basically give you graphs uh, and see all your uh, cards in your dashboard. Uh, you can see your health right there, uh, your nutrition, your medication, uh, all of that, your biotin, your blood glucose. Uh, so that's really good to see. You can see your data there. Uh, you can see your body mass as well. Uh, you can see calories. Uh, and you can see a lot of graphs and everything within this health uh, app. Uh, and it's a universal app and it will eliminate the use of uh, you going into the app store and finding the right health app. Uh, so that's very interesting with iOS 8. Uh, and then you have medical ID, and a medical ID basically provides medical information about you uh, and if it's important in an emergency. So maybe you have a severe peanut allergy or something like that. This is what you want to have in your medical ID. And you can easily create one uh, just by tapping right here. Your uh, first, middle, and last name, medical conditions, medical notes, allergies, and reactions, and medications. Uh, your organ donor, uh, your blood type, and everything like that. Uh, it's really, really good to see that Apple is taking a step in the right di direction. This is kind of like uh, Samsung's uh, S Health. But then again, it's really far from it in which, uh, in a sense, because the S health uh, tracks your fitness more, this is more your overall health uh, and your health um, and medical matters, uh, I would say.
Now Spotlight has also changed. Uh, you can see uh, if you type in Spotlight, it will start searching for apps and everything. Uh, so Spotlight is a lot like a lot like the latest OS X and everything. Uh, so I could just type in uh, iBooks uh, and I'll see all my music and everything, all my applications. I can keep scrolling through my music. I, it will search through uh, the events that I have, uh, all my videos I have on my device. It will search the web, Wikipedia. Uh, and you can easily search through the App Store uh, and search for apps, and that's very good for app developers uh, on that side of uh, the spectrum. And if you go into the App Store now, uh, it's basically the same. Nothing uh, much has changed. Uh, instead of nearby, it's near me now. Uh, and other than that, it's basically the same. Uh, it had a UI update in iOS 7, but here it's just a little different. Uh, and you can see uh, that it's basically the same and just the categories here are slightly, ever so slightly, it's just a little different. Uh, so that's just uh, interesting to see as well. Uh, so you can see everything loading up uh, right there. So basically those are the main features of iOS 8. You now have the feature that you can reply to a message uh, and once you get a notification right there you can easily reply to it uh, which is nice to see now. Uh, and also uh, you have the uh, feature in the App Store if you uh, have a child that has an iPhone. Uh, what they can do is download an app but it will have to send a notification to your iPhone then you'll have to approve it and then they can download and you also do have the continuity uh, feature uh, that you can use your iPhone and use it for calls and texts and then you can go over to your uh, Mac and then you can receive calls and messages on your Mac as well uh, so that's also a very very cool feature uh, and overall uh, those are the main features of iOS 8. So thanks for watching this video please be sure to subscribe to like this video smash that like button down below so I know you watched. Also check out AppleCritics.ca for the latest Apple news reviews and more and like my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash AppleCritics and thanks for watching.